this lesson is going to be on Linux redirection and pipes. Now, with Linux redirection, it'll allow you to control the input and output of a command. For instance, we have three types of redirection. We have input redirection, output redirection, and append redirection. With input redirection, you can actually pass data to a utility. For instance, let's just do ls. We're going to see the contents of the file. So we have two files. We have cat test file, so let's see what's in there, and cat test file 2. So you see we have these two files. One has just the word test, another one has the word root and test. So let's start by, let's say we wanted to pass the data of test file 2 to the cat utility. It'd be the same as writing cat test file 2. Instead you would just do cat less than symbol and you're going to pass it a file. So let's do test file 2. And you'll see that it gave you the same output as cat test file 2. Another type of redirection is the output redirection. Now the output redirection will allow you to I guess send the output of a utility to a file, and either an existing file or it'll create you a file. For instance, let's do cat let's do cat test file 2 and test file. Now from a previous video you know that we can output two files data with the cat utility just by putting a space between each file. So let's output the data from both these files and redirect it to one file called test file 3. So you'll see that it created the test file 3 and if we view the contents of the test file 3 you'll see that we now have root test test. So with output redirection, you can also take the take the uh, data from the output from any command and put it into any file. So instead of doing cat on a file, let's do let's run a command. Let's do ifconfig. Now this command will allow us to view the information of our network card of each network card. So let's say we want to output this data to a file. So we would just do ifconfig and let's do, we're going to redirect it to, let's do a, a file called network. Now if we view the contents of network, you'll see that the network file now has the data from the ifconfig file. So now let's talk a little bit about append redirection. <clears throat> With append redirection, you can actually append to the end of a file. So let's say we want to append the data from the test file 3 that we created to the network file. We could do cat test file 3 and we're going to append it using the two greater than symbols to the network file. Now when we view the network file, you'll see at the end we have this data from test file 3. With append redirection just like regular output redirection it will also create the file if it no if it doesn't exist so now let's talk a little bit about pipes with pipes it will allow you to connect the output stream of one command into the input stream of another command for instance let's say we wanted to sort the data in our test file 3 so we would just do cat test file 3 and we're going to use the pipe symbol, space, sort. And you'll see that it outputted the file in alphabetical order. So let's go ahead and say we want to reverse the order of sort. We would just do cat test file 3 pipe sort dash r. And you'll see that now test is at the top and root is at the bottom. We can also search through files using a, a utility called grep. So let's uh, take a look at this utility real quick. Man, grep. So grep will actually go through and print the lines of the matching pattern. So if we give it a pattern, for instance, of test, it would look for any word that is test and output the, the lines that contain that word. You can go through these flags later on, but let's go ahead and press Q to quit that. 
and let's try to find let's uh let's go ahead and do cat on test file three pipe and let's do grep and we're gonna grep for root so you'll see it out actually outputted the line that had the word root on it since our line only had the word root it only showed us the word root but let's go ahead and let's go ahead and search our network file for the keyword lo so we're going to do cat network pipe grep lo and you'll see it gave us the entire line from that file with the word lo you can use uh... you can use pipes to link together a series of commands to, to get the data that you need for when you're using scripts like bash scripting or anything else that pretty much covers it for this lesson stay tuned for the next lesson